<clears throat> so you want to learn how to use Vim. Well, this is the video for you. If you don't know what Vim is, you can go watch my other video where I talk about what Vim is and why it's beneficial for you to learn Vim. This video is about the Vim motions, which is the reason that you're able to code much faster in Vim compared to other editors. Now for this video, I'll be using NeoVim, um, but the Vim motions are the same for any editor that has the Vim motions. So Vim, NeoVim, and any editor with the, a Vim plugin, such as uh, VS Code and IntelliJ, which have uh, Vim plugins, these motions will be the same across the board. So in this video, we're going to be covering these uh, commands and motions, which are going to be the basics and the essential motions that you're going to need to know to use Vim. All right. So I covered some of these in my first video, but the basic commands H, J, K, and L can move the cursor one character at a time. So H moves the cursor to the left, L moves the cursor to, to the right, J moves down, and K moves up. So with these commands, you can navigate around the file. If I press I, I can go into insert mode. I can type in text, just like a, a normal text editor. And I can press escape to go back to normal mode where I can use the motions to move around. If I press A, I can go into insert mode just like I, except when I press A, I go into insert mode on the character after where my cursor is. So if I press A here and I type in text, you'll see that um, the text is after this word text. If I press I, I'll start inserting uh, characters before um, my cursor. So that's why this T is still here. Now to write to the file or save the file, I can press colon to go into command mode and type in colon W, press enter to write to the file. Um, if I want to create a new file with the contents of this file, I can give the file a name like um, not main dot us and this will create a new file um, with the contents of this file and if I want to quit the file I can press colon Q and that will quit the file now using H K J and L to move one character at a time isn't that fast so we have two more commands which are W and B which allow you to move forward one uh, word at a time and a word is separated by spaces or characters such as like a period or comma okay. so you can see i press w and b to go forward and b to go back uh, and capital w does the same thing and capital b does the same thing except it only goes by spaces so you can see if I type the word don't and I press B you'll see that it takes three times to actually get past this word because there's a apostrophe separating it but if I press W and B um, well capitalized you'll see that I jump the entire word so it only goes by spaces I can use the command zero and dollar sign to go to the uh, start of a line or the end of a line so zero goes to the start of the line and dollar sign goes to the end of the line i can type o to create a new line and go into insert mode so now i can type text on this new line i can press uh, capital o to create a new line before the line I'm currently on. So I type for here. There are also motions like 
uh, percentage, the percentage sign, or if I'm on a you know, uh, closing or opening brace, such as this curly brace right here, I can press percentage sign and I will jump to the matching uh, other brace. So if I'm on these parentheses, you'll see that I jump to the other one. Uh, I can use uh, curly parentheses to jump between paragraphs, which is just continuous text. So if I have some text right here, I can use the curly braces, um, uh, opening curly brace to jump up, closing curly brace to jump down paragraphs. I can also use G, capital G, to go to the bottom of the file and gg to go to the top of the file. I can use v to enter visual mode where I can select text and use another command such as d to delete the text. Or you can I can use v capital V to select text by lines. Uh, and I can still use other commands, such as Z, to delete them. I can also use uh, Control-V to enter visual block mode, where I can select text, um, but it follows the shape of a block. And I can again use commands such as Z to delete text. There are also commands like Y, which copy text, and commands like P to paste text. So I can use capital V, I can select some lines, I can use Y to copy them, and then I can use P to paste the text. Um, you can also paste text you know, forwards like this, or you can paste text backwards using capital P. There is also a way to delete text without selecting it first. So, of course, you can delete a line by using Control or uppercase V to select a line and D to delete it. Um, you can also use capital D to delete from where you are uh, on the line and delete to the end of the line. You can also use U to undo commands. So using U will undo commands, or using Control R will redo commands. You can also use a count to repeat a command. So the way you do that is by entering a number before you execute a command. So let's say I wanted to delete all this text here. I could use capital V to select um, a line. Then I can say use 25J to go 25 lines down and then use D to delete all the text. Um, the command C will delete text and enter insert mode. So if I were to select this word random and press D, you'll see that I'm still in normal mode. Let's maybe undo that and instead select this text random and you see that now we're in insert mode. You can also use capital C, just like you would use capital D, where you delete from where your cursor is to the end of the line and now you're in insert mode as well. Uh, let's say I wanted to save this file and quit it. I can use the command colon WQ to save the file and quit it. And it, let's say I wanted to quit a file without saving changes. So changes, changes. If I want to quit a file without saving the changes, can use colon Q exclamation mark to exit and now when I go back you see that the changes aren't there anymore. Now 
The last thing that you have to learn are some of the patterns, such as action and motion, and action in or around an object. So, when we use something like, you know, a J, K, L, like the basic commands to move, that is a motion. So we're moving our cursor. And when we're using, you know, same thing with W, B, um, this like, opening curly parentheses, right? And also zero and dollar sign. These are motions, right? Now an action would be something like D, where we delete uh, selected text or Y. But we don't have to select text for these um, actions to work. We can press an action, then a motion. So for example, if I wanted to delete this word right here, I can use the action D and the motion W to delete the word. Same thing if I want to delete back, I can delete with D and D for back. Um, this also works if say, I wanted to delete from here to the end of the line, I use D dollar sign. If I wanted to copy to the end of the line, and if I paste it, you'll see we get the line here. Uh, another pattern is to use the action and then in or around an object. So let's say I wanted to delete this word. Um, I could do DW, right? Or I can do D and then in or I and an object, which can be like a word, right? And I want to delete in word. Uh, or D A W delete around a word. So you see, if I do delete in word, see that we leave a space here. It's all we've deleted is a word. If I press delete around word, it will delete the white space around it. And the reason that I don't call this a emotion instead an object is because this works without like motion as well. So let's say I wanted to delete these parentheses. I can say delete around parentheses. I'll delete everything in and around the parentheses. If I want to say delete in paragraph, instead of using the curly braces, I can say delete in P and P would be paragraph. So it is slightly different from emotions uh, and this is a pattern that is very useful when you're actually coding so for example um, don't mind what I just did there but if you had some code like this that just prints out some text you could use something like delete in or change the C in, uh, in quotes and it will delete everything in the quotes and it will allow you to, to type text. Um, same thing with change in Word. It will just delete everything in Word and you will be able to type. So these are some of the basic motions that will allow you to use Vim fairly quickly. Uh, and to practice these motions and learn new motions, you can use Vim Tutor, which is a program that has a lot of the motions that we've talked about in this video, such as, you know, HKGNL, deleting and inserting and so on. And you can follow the Vim Tutor and you can learn about the motions. One more thing to know is that to get good at Vim, you have to use Vim. So, uh, I would recommend staying away from the mouse and just using Vim while you're coding. Uh, even if you start off slower than you would be with the mouse, I guarantee you that um, as time goes on, you keep on using Vim, you will get much faster.
all right that's gonna be the end of this video if you wanted to learn more about vim uh, you can check out the playlist i have in the description it will have many videos that are uh, good resources to learning more about vim um, and if anyone is interested in vim config uh, i should have a video on that up in a bit anyways that's gonna be it from me if you enjoyed this video like it and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys next time good luck learning vim